class is on joints. In this class, we will learn the four main joints. First is the ball and socket joint. Do, do you know that it moves in 360 degrees? C. Where is it present? Do you know that? Yes, it's present in the shoulder and in the hip also. That's why they move whole 360 degrees like this. So, this was ball and socket joint. Do you know how is it made? It's simple. It's just a ball fixed inside a socket. So, this makes the ball and socket joint. What's our next joint? Do you know? Yes, it's the pivot joint. It can move in the front. At the back, right and the left. Do you know it's present in our neck and where is it present? Yes, it's present in our hand. The two bones. Do you know which are the two bones? The radius and the ulna. When we move a hand inside, what is it called? Yes, it's called pronation. And when we move it outside, it's called supination. So, but do you know what is this called? This is, this hole is called the upper limb. And this is called the lower limb. Now, the upper limb has two parts. Lower arm and upper arm. Same way, the lower limb has also two parts, upper leg and lower leg. Now, we will learn about the gliding joint. Do you know where is gliding joint present? But first, do you know how is this pivot joint is made? Yes, it's just a ring around a bone. And do you know which joint is this? This is our gliding joint. So, here as you can see, this can move up, right, left and down. Where is it present? In our wrist, some of the parts, in our ankle, some of the parts and our whole backbone. The backbone has vertebras. How many are there? Think, think. Yes, there are 33 vertebras in our backbone. Now, this was the gliding joint. It glides smoothly. What about the hinge joint? It's very simple. Now, see, it moves 180 degree. Its freedom of motion is that much only. So, now, we can do some work. Joints, we are dependent on joints because without joints, we can't do anything or any work. Oh, I have an example of hinge joint. Where is hinge joint present? Yes, in our elbows and knees. And the hinge joint is present in the door also. <laughs> this can't move here back. It will break if it moves. It can only move like this. Its freedom of motion is this much only. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. In our next class, we will learn the other two joints. The ellipsoid joint and the saddle joint. Let me tell you some more things about that. Do you know where saddle joint present? Yes, in our thumb. One, there is one cup shape and another cup shape. They are not from the side. So, they fit in each other. That's why you can see the thumb behaving not in any of the joints we learned. 
here the ellipsoid joint is also like that only like the ball and socket but a little different the socket is of oval shape and ball is also of oval shape so it can not move much like this it's present where thing thing yes in our wish and also in our ankles bye have a nice day we will learn many things in our next class